Apple did the impossible. What they said couldn't work on an iPad Pro, they just did even with the iPad Mini. For years, ever since Apple's iconic What's a Computer ad, we have been dreaming about that actually coming to light and being able to replace our MacBook with an iPad. And I have complained year after year with these videos showing that the iPad could be incredible if Apple allowed it. And recently, I said that this was gonna happen because Apple is forced to give us more value because less people are spending money on their products. And this year at WWDC, it finally happened and I'm absolutely ecstatic. I'm gonna share with you guys the biggest changes that are finally gonna allow me to use this as a main device and why it matters so much along with some things that still might not have been fixed and with that I will be doing a one week update we're gonna get the beta ready to show you guys how it works in the real world ditching the Mac going to the iPad so if you guys want to see a video from our team make sure you guys subscribe now yes we have the new design the first time in a while it looks pretty good and we have the new app icons and widgets but honestly I don't care that much about that because I'm way more excited about multitasking and what that is going to do. Seeing Craig in that first shot showing a bunch of different windows opened up at once, coexisting just like on a Mac, made me so happy. And then seeing these windows being moved around freely and just popping up as you touch them, I just kept saying, that's from a Mac, that's from a Mac, that's from a Mac. And then seeing that little flick and the whole window being able to move to one side, being able to adjust uh, the sizes there. I mean, that alone is gonna improve your ability to multitask so well. Now, Apple didn't stop there. We also have, just like on a Mac, that little pop-up, which allows you to split up your different windows in different sections, either side by side. You can go into quad view as well. So that's a nice little quick way to set it up as as you want and with that we got a new small cursor which is great because as Apple was adding in features slowly and holding stuff back yeah we got the new trackpad you got the little bubble you know you can connect to keyboard and mouse with limitations now having a nice fine cursor really brings it to a Mac-like setup. So now when I'm doing accounting tasks, I can have multiple windows open, I can have my calculator and my notes opened up, which I do all the time on my Mac, and it just works for me the way I want to work it. Now they also built in some nice gestures so you can pull up on your trackpad and then pause to see all your different apps and just with the tap be able to access the one you want if something is hidden. That is nice or you can push through go to the desktop to be able to open up something new so it's very intuitive and it's a nice blend of having iPad OS or iOS style uh, quickness smoothness but the multitasking at the same time. And of course, you could still open up apps and use it as normal. So it's not gonna get in the way having um, you know extra things. So you know if you have Stage Finder that they had before, you have stuff smaller, stuff on the side. It wasn't clean, I didn't like it. This is way better. And what really got me excited is when they showed the cursor going up to the top and seeing that menu slide out, pop out, just like you have the menu on the Mac. And this is just so useful because it just allows quick access to anything in any application right there. So you can find all the functionality quickly, easily access it. I mean, I don't know. It's almost like this is a breakthrough new thing, but it's not. We've had this forever on a Mac and they just didn't give it to us before. I mean, just look at that awesome shot with Craig in it, all that multitasking goodness being opened up. 
the iPad is just going to work for you. Now, they did not stop there. I have complained about how iPad works with an external display, but this is looking great there. Pretty much like a Mac that's smaller and thinner that can come off of the case and you can use it with a monitor. I'm so excited to test that out. And with that, the other change that had to happen is the Files app, which was so limiting before. That had so many issues. I love that we're gonna have a new updated list view where you can actually slide things over, you can customize, you can expand things, and that just really helps your workflow to be able to speed up just like you have on a Mac. Now, it doesn't stop there. Just like on Mac OS, you're gonna be able to customize those folders, you have some icons, so that is cool. But what is even better is that you don't have to always go into the Files app. You can drag a certain folder, drop it down low so you can quickly select it like they showed off with the Downloads folder, just like I have on my Mac. You download something, bam, it's there, drag it, drop it, use it how you like, quick access into any program without being stuck working in that files app. Now that alone is gonna save so much time. And then they brought preview from the Mac to the iPad. This is great because it speeds things up once again. Being able to open something up, see it quickly, and then having market capabilities if you're working with PDFs like I do, be able to sign it, be able to change formats. It just brings a lot of real world functionality to the iPad. Now they also talked about music and audio and having the ability to select different microphones for different apps. So if you're using this as an actual tool in your workflow for your work, that is awesome to have as well. And with that, you have the ability to do um, denoising, background removal, all that is built in. It's another layer that is going to be fantastic. Now, I know there are gonna be more small updates and fixes. There's other things in the file app that I think they didn't talk about. One thing that I'm very curious is the ability to have multiple audio sources playing. So when I'm video editing, I like to have music playing in the background, say from YouTube, and then be able to access that and it just currently pauses. You can't do that like I do on a Mac, and that just messes things up for me. So I'm gonna be checking that out along with other issues in a follow-up video, so make sure you guys are subscribed. They're also putting in local capture if you are doing meetings online, if you're doing a podcast, I've done that on the Mac. And another major thing that they fix, which I think this probably spreads to other areas, is if you're doing res heavy resource things like exporting video. This is a major issue with multitasking too, because currently you start exporting. If you go do anything else, it will stop or pause, or even worse, just shut down. And how is it a pro multitasking computer when it can't do that like you can always do on a Mac. So that is a really welcome feature to really make the iPad Pro a pro device. So that is great. And with that, what blew my mind even more is all of this is coming not just to the iPad Pro, which before they're like, yeah, you got a screen, you got, you know, we can't let you do too much stuff, it's not gonna work but they did it and it's coming to other iPads, including the iPad mini. Now, personally, this is such a small screen. I don't know how useful that's gonna be, but this is something that's gonna be extremely useful on the larger iPads, especially that 13 inch size where you really have some good room to work with and it has a higher um, vertical space as well, which is awesome. Now, I am extremely excited for this, as you guys could probably tell. I'm gonna get my hands dirty. We're gonna figure out more updates, maybe some things they didn't fix. Uh, so you guys let me know what you are the most excited about. And this, and if this makes a difference for you, if you previously couldn't use an iPad full time, and now you will be able to. So go ahead and comment down below. Let me know. Hit that subscribe, bat subscribe button right there. I'm way too excited. Check out one of those videos right over there. This has been Max, and I'll see you in the next video.